Now welcome back to Calling It. So Shane Duffy looks to be on his way to Celtic Park, either part of a loan deal or part of a deal that's worth 1.25 million over the course of four years. Either way, it's a very, very solid signing for Celtic. He comes from Brighton. He has been out of favour since Graham Potter took over at Brighton because he's more of a defensive player as opposed to playing out from the back. Uh, but before that, he was Chris Hutton's number one man. Duncan Duffy were the, the centre-back partnership. They were actually one of the best partnerships in the Premier League. So very, very solid player that Celtic are getting. And from his Ireland days, I've watched him the whole time. He's been Ireland's best player probably over the last three or four years. So very, very solid signing. The one thing about Shane Duffy coming in is how much the deal is worth. So if it's a loan deal, that's fine. If it's 1.25 million and you're actually getting to keep him at the end, then that's even better. I suppose one thing about it is when you're buying a centre back that's coming from the Premier League, his wages are obviously going to be higher. I know he's kind of at the lower end of the Premier League, but still the difference is that the lower end of the Premier League, their their wages are high Scottish wages. So by the looks of it, he's on around about 40,000 a week at Brighton. So he's either taking a small pay cut and going and still going to be one of Celtic's highest paid players, or he's going to go in automatically as Celtic's highest paid player so far. Um, Shane Duffy, what type of player is he? If you haven't seen much of him, he's very very strong defensively. He actually says himself that he he enjoys defending. That's his main role. He's not a he's not a ball playing centre half. He is a defensive centre half who takes no nonsense. Very very strong in the air defensively strong reads the game very well and also puts his body on the line as well to stop goals so he is he's well used to the grind and if he if you're thinking about how Celtic improve defensively is definitely one way they need to improve and Shane Duffy is going to be the answer he's going to be a really brilliant signing for Celtic if they can secure this so <clears throat> what does this mean for Celtic now then it can be it can mean a couple of things it could mean that uh, Christopher Ayer is on the way out he is reported to be one of the four players that has been trying to force a move over the last couple of weeks. So if Shane Duffy comes in, he could be a like for like swap for Christopher Iyer. He's a, I, I actually think he'd be a we're getting a better deal there if Celtic do get rid of Iyer and they keep Shane Duffy because Shane Duffy's a better defender and Chris Julian can be that ball playing centre half. I've always said that Julian, he while he's a good defender, he does need that sort of cement block beside him to do the the dirty work and Shane Duffy's going to be more than happy to do that so he'll be a brilliant sign in that way or it could mean that Neil Lennon can change his formation up which we have all been begging for over the last couple of weeks he can go through at the back with Shane Duffy in the middle of Ayer and Julian and then push uh, the likes of Frimpong as a right wing back I'm not sure about El Yunusi as a left wing back I prefer him further up the field not doing defensive duties but he could play there, or you could put the likes of Greg Taylor as a, a wing play, uh, a wing back for Celtic as well, with Cal McGregor, Scott Brown, and it does kind of give you the option of bringing David Turnbull into the team as well. So, if you imagine it, you go three at the back with uh, Shane Duffy, Chris Julian, and Chris Ryer. Right wing back, you have Jeremy Frimpong. Left wing back, I'm going to say Greg Taylor, and then Scott Brown. Cal McGregor as the defensive midfielders then further f forward you can go with uh, either David Turnbull as the number 10 with say Ryan Christie and Eduard up front or you can go Ryan Christie as the number 10 with Eduard and uh, David Turnbull as the sort of uh, fake number 9 or like dropping into the midfield deep lying striker if you want to put him there obviously El Unisi is missing out in that formation but it's hard to know what Neil Lennon's going to do El Unisi can play as a left wing back he could also play as that uh, false nine as well if you if you want to put him there so it, it definitely gives Celtic a lot more options going forward as well as defensively and I mean that's what we need that's ultimately what Celtic need they need more options that when things aren't going their way they can change it up and Neil Lennon has been slow to do that so far. So it's good to see that they're bringing in these players. And it's a sign of the strength that Celtic have as a club. Shane Duffy is a boyhood Celtic fan. So that is obviously, obviously a draw as well. But he wanted to play week in, week out. He was, he was out of favour, as I said, with Brighton last year. So he wants to play football. But he's also happy to come up to one of the biggest clubs in Scotland. A club that he supported. And Celtic still has that draw for these 
big enough players that they can come in and make an instant impact in the Scottish League. So I firmly believe that Shane Duffy will be one of the best defenders, if not the best defender by far in the Scottish League when he comes in. From his Ireland days, he's been phenomenal. Ireland haven't been doing that great over the last couple of years, I know. But defensively, they have. It's really just going forward that's been the issue. And Shane Duffy, to give you a sign of where Shane Duffy is in terms of his ability in the air, he was almost always the favourite to score for Ireland as opposed to the strikers. It was always Shane Duffy, first goal scorer, was the lowest amount of odds for an Irish player to score. So that's where he is in his aerial duels. He's phenomenal in the air, very, very strong. As Again, as I said, puts his body in the line, which, you know, Celtic players haven't been doing often enough in the last couple of years. If you look at the the first goal during the week where the defence gets out and it's pretty much just Scott Brown chasing down the ball and nobody throws themselves in front of the shot. So Shane Duffy will stick his head down at that person's feet if he needs to stop a goal going in. That's the kind of defender he is. He's very, very brave. He doesn't take things for granted. Very, very strong defensively and an excellent signing for Celtic overall. Hopefully that will be the second last signing that Celtic make because I still think they do need another striker to come in because Edouard's future is still up in the air but hopefully we'll start to see an improvement from Celtic going forward it seems like the players were genuinely a little bit hurt by the European exit so they need that and they need to use that hurt in a good way they need to get into the Europa League and they need to push off the 10 in a row because this is a vital year for Celtic for everything that they do and they need to finish out strong. It's only the start of the season I'm talking about how they need to finish out the season strong. They need to seriously improve now going forward for Neil Lennon to keep his job and for the future of the club to keep building upon what they have because you can't get lax now. You can't just get to 10 and give up. You have to keep building on that. You have to build in Europe. You have to keep improving as a club so that you don't disappear into the ether. So guys, what do you think of Shane Duffy coming into Celtic? Do you think he's going to be the man that he needs? Am I completely fully off in my uh, judgment of the three at the back with Neil Lennon? Or do you think he brings a bit, little bit more of a dynamic to Celtic? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will be doing a lot more Celtic stuff over the course of the season. I'm Andy Call. has been calling it. Thanks for watching.